I want to show you really quickly how the web works so you can get an understanding of how your hosting setup is working. Here we have a desktop or laptop browser and we also have mobile browsers which are becoming a lot more popular these days and they're sending requests into a web server so for instance on either one of these if they type into the browser myonlinestore.com or whatever website they're trying to access it would come in here to a web server and the network knows how to route that request to the web server. The web server typically has files that exist on it. Uh, for web files are PHP, HTML, or ASP, or some other types of, of files that are basically ways of representing what's going to be sent back ultimately to the browser. There's usually a database in the middle of that. For WordPress sites, the database typically is a MySQL database. MySQL databases actually are very popular. Because they're designed very well and they're free. And this system here typically on a lot of websites is WordPress. And I'm going to show you how WordPress works. And I'll actually walk you through how to set up a WordPress website. But this whole thing here is your web host. And this, in our example here, is going to be either WordPress using WooCommerce for the shopping cart system which would all be these files in this database. That would be uh, WooCommerce. This would be either, it's going to be WordPress with WooCommerce. Or, as an alternative, it'll be BigCommerce, which is uh, what I've referred to as a hosted solution. And so you'll use one of these two to set up your shopping cart. There are other options out there. In fact, there are tens of other options, but I'm going to show you how to use both of these ones specifically because these are the ones I think that are the best. If you were to use big commerce, there'd be a lot less configuration stuff you'd need to do with your database and with the file system and everything. With WordPress, there is actually some setup involved and some configuration and design that's a little bit more intense than what you find with big commerce. When the requests come in from either a desktop or laptop browser or a mobile browser into the web server, it gets processed and then out comes HTML or with CSS and JavaScript and there are other files that are sent back from the web server that become web pages that represent the website. That is a basic introduction to how websites work and the fundamentals of how your online store is going to work in terms of communication back and forth between your website and your customers.